Good morning, everybody. It's about 9 o'clock, um, Tuesday morning. It's going to be tricky for me to keep days straight this week, I tell you. I'm already, I'm already confused and befuddled. Let me set this down in my office. I'll show you a quick outfit of the day. I have been on some calls, done a couple things, and then I had to... My office this is the one thing I did not get handled this weekend. Hopefully I can get that done a little bit this morning. But... But I would show you an outfit of the day. I think I showed you these pants when I got them from Lane. And it's funny because I got a different pair of striped pants in my trunk club. If you haven't seen that video on my other channel, I'll link it before. Or <laughs> link it before. I'll link it below. It is a video where um, I show all the things that the gal, that my stylist or whatever, you know, through the trunk club. If you know what that is, you know what I'm talking about. Picked for me. But I just feel like it's, it was a rough hair day today. Anyway, I went through all those things, showed everything, and and uh, talked about the items I try them all on. So, the point of this is that there's some striped pants in that that I sent back, but these ones I kept and I liked. These ones, I think because they're a little more tailored. The other ones were a different material. These are a little more tailored. They do have pockets here, but I haven't cut out the things. I think they're, where is the, yeah, this is the top of the pocket, because I kind of, you know, sometimes once you cut the pockets open, then it doesn't sit as nicely. Anyway, I'm wearing the same Vince Camuto um, sandaly things. And then the sweater, I got at Nordstrom um, when I was in Arizona in January. Uh, so I don't even know what the brand is or anything, but it's, it's tricky. I don't know why I bought a white sweater because I don't wear white, like white, white in the winter. Um, so there's only kind of a few months that you can wear it, but it's really soft. So I can, I think it kind of works for today. It's just dreary and blah. So I'm going to sit down here and finish some more stuff, make a few calls, see if I can't get my act together. Never got to the camper either. <laughs> That's something else I didn't get done. So I have some things too. Tonight I, or today I have a lunch meeting in Green Bay with a customer and uh, Aaliyah has a, has a soccer game tonight that I want to go to. It's my oldest church cutie. And I just... There's a sticker on the... What in the heck? I'm just noticing that there's a sticker. An orange sticker on a, on the... See the garbage can out there? That, that's the garbage can that we put the... Uh, lawn clippings in. So I'm not sure what that sticker's about. Whatever. That's a Bob thing. That's not a crystal thing. So, right, lunch. I need to go to Celicon, which is who we have our phones through. They're a local provider. And find out why my phone all of a sudden is going over in data. I don't understand. I haven't for years. And now, this month, I went over and then went over again. And I'm not doing anything differently aside from leaving my phone on at night because of the whole our phone was ringing at all hours of the night. So I have to go find out what the situation is. And maybe how much unlimited data is <laughs> because, I don't know, I, I have to find out a solution. So that's all happening today because it's my work phone and I can't, not, I can't have to be, I can't be worried about data and stuff when I need to use it for work. So that's what's happening today. I'm going to go solve some of the world's problems here, and I'll see you later. All right, you guys. It's about 10.30. I'm happy to report that um, I have cleaned my desk area. Oh, I need to put my out-of-office on. Cleaned my... I'm, I'm hot, though. I, I already feel like the sweater is a mistake. I guess it's because I'm in my house, probably. Um, send out my replies. Okay. So, sorry, I should have waited a second. Uploading the vlog. I had just one clip left to edit, so I edited that. Or a couple clips, I should say. I edited that. But the rest of my stuff is handled here. You can see my floor again, which is good. Nothing's hanging out on my desk. I just function so much better when my space is in order. What can I say? Oh, good. My laundry's done. I need to run over to Cellcom and then get on the road here in the next hour. So, cross my fingers, I get that all accomplished. All right, it's about 3.30. Not quite, almost. I am back and some calls. Had a really good meeting. 
went way longer than I thought, but that is okay. We got a lot of stuff accomplished. Some projects we're working on, so that's good. I cannot figure out why. All of a sudden, my MacBook Air, it doesn't go to the, like, lock screen. I left it here. Look, it's uploading my video. I left it uploading. It is still there. Like, it didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't, screensaver, it didn't go to screensaver. I gotta look, I'm, I'm sure it's a setting I've unintentionally messed with. So, not sure if I'm going to make it to Leah's game tonight or not. I have a lot of camper stuff I need to do. And it's not the last of the games or anything. So, um, right now, though, I need to put on some comfy clothes, crack my hair up in a pony, and get caught up in my emails. Before I forget, I want to show you guys. I went to my P.O. box for the first time in, like, a month. Or more, possibly. And I had a couple cards in there, which is very sweet. Um, cards that came in around Mother's Day. And a really really sweet letter that touched me a lot um from i didn't know this said this on it oh so holly her name is holly and she is a 31 consultant i'm not sure she'd want me to put i'm not going to share her story this is a story that she shared with me but she's a 31 consultant and i will find out from her if i can list it because it'll have her last name on it and stuff if i list her stuff but she sent me this box that says be beautiful on it i didn't even know that i saw the box in the car so here's the story the box is open so anything that <laughs> anything that comes from um the closer protect the, oh yeah i don't think those were actually in it that must be what was missing uh anywho the Box is open and retaped by the post the postal service, you know. So that's never a good sign. <laughs> so hopefully everything that was in there got to me. But there was a little hair tie in here, which is really cute. And then this, and then her letter. Most important of all of that was the letter, quite honestly. But this is so cool. So if you if you are going to a 31 party and looking for something to order, a this is totally my style. Like I could use this to decorate anywhere in my house. You could put flowers in here. She talked about putting like pens in here. Or this screams makeup brushes as well, but I, I have mine in a turnstile thing, and she she said she thought she knew that, but thought I could use it someplace else, and I absolutely can. I don't know how I will use it, but I will 100% use it. And I didn't even know that it said be beautiful until right then. So, thank you so much to her. Super super sweet, thoughtful, not necessary. And again, I'm so touched that you would share your story with me, and I'm I am happy that we were able to um, help you through through what you were going through so um on that note i said i said i wanted to show you that and leave it up here so i can show bobby and uh, now now i'm really gonna buckle down and get my stuff handled i really have a lot of things that i need to get accomplished before we leave on thursday so and some of that is in the camper i just you know this darn work just gets in the middle of everything all right it's just about five o'clock I made the birthday cake ice cream I was talking about in the last vlog. Made that. I was just putting some, the Amazon order away. Uh, got that in the freezer. And I made Bob his leftover primary by sliced it up really thin and then just kind of flash, flash fry it, flash heat it up, whatever, in a pan. And so, oh good, I'm glad. And some eggs for his dinner. He's got council tonight. And this came in, we ordered this topper for the mattress and the camper because um, it wasn't very comfortable. For... Are you all right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What'd you think I was carrying in over here? I don't know. Oh. Oh, I see. So, this is a linen spa, two inch gel memory foam mattress topper. I think it was $60 on Amazon. Uh, so, I'm going to take this out, I'm going to go put it on the bed out there. And then I'm gonna take the sheets out and see if the sheets that we have are deep enough to go over this. And if not, I'll use the ones we used to have on the bed um, or before I got the, how about I sit this down? Uh, 
They are in the thing? Yeah, okay. So that's what's, that's what's happening here. I'm going to go put this on and see. Oh, I know what it's saying. So if the, if the sheets that I have for the camper don't, like, aren't deep enough, then I have ones, they won't match the comforter, but it's, it'll be okay that I can put on. So it'll be okay for this camping trip anyway. All right. I'm going to go in there. I'll take the camera and I'll show you when I'm in there in case we have new viewers that haven't seen the camper. All right. So I'm in the bedroom of the camper. You can see the, when the slide is in, here I am. Hello. When the slide is in, you can't see, but like this is the other part camper <laughs> so when it's set up the slide is pushed out and we can walk through here so I just have this sitting on here and you can tell it's probably to expand but it needs to sit for 24 hours before I can do anything so we're just gonna leave it be for now bring the garbage in and that's gonna be that it says it needs to be in a well ventilated room I'm not sure how well ventilated this is but it said that it could have a slight odor I don't notice that I don't notice the smell of any sort, so that's good, because it's not like super well ventilated in here. All right, so I guess that's going to be that. I won't be working on any more of that. I should have read that so I would have known, but I'm going to work on bringing some other stuff in here. I think I'm actually going to put my clothes up in the camper this time. I don't normally do that, but I don't know. I've been thinking about trying, instead of like bringing a bag and keeping it in a bag, there's things up here for a reason, so I thought I might try that. Thought I heard Bobby. Nope. Good morning. It's just about eight o'clock. A Wednesday morning. <laughs> I'm clearly having some issues. Some fresh air up in here today. Uh, last night I ended up getting all of the. You can see everything's off of this table. I put all of that stuff in the camper. Um, this morning I got up early and got my clothes in the camper. I can't remember if I vlogged about this or not, so I'll say it really quickly in case I didn't. Um, I am trying to not bring, like normally I bring a bag full of, like an overnight bag, um, into the camper with all my stuff and then it sits out and, it, and that just seems silly when there's storage in there. So I'm going to try this time. I don't think Bob's on board for his stuff. But for my stuff, because I really only handle my stuff, um, I am going to, I'm boiling some eggs here. I am going to, or I brought all my stuff in and I'm trying to kind of use the space that we have. So, cold water, please. So I did that. I made the bed this morning. The, the foamy thing opened up enough. I didn't really feel the need to wait 24 full hours. <clears throat> I'm sure that's just to kind of cover themselves in case somebody has a new that's not opening or something. So we did that, brought some other stuff in, so feeling pretty good. All I have left will be um, like my bathroom stuff, you know, my skincare and, and whatnot. And then the refrigerator and freezer stuff and can't do that till tomorrow. He'll plug in the camper tonight after he mows the lawn, so. I just thought I'd give you a little check and I'll take you in there a little bit later. And if I don't, I will certainly this weekend show you guys around a little bit. But all right, I'm gonna crack these eggs and get to work. All right, it's 4 30. I <laughs> that's all I have to say. All right, so I'll kind of give you a rundown. I, I didn't take an actual lunch today because I kind of kept popping out to do things. So I made seven layer bars, so I need to get those cut up and put in a, in a pan. I also re-seasoned this. I don't know, I don't think I showed you. I'll try to insert a picture here of what it looked like. So we just bought this last year, and I, I think I've determined, based on the research that I did, what the issue is. We've always kind of had an issue with our um, pans, our cast iron pans rusting. Um, especially over the like winter or whatever well we always we don't seal them in plastic bags but we do put them in plastic bags and just kind of like wrap it around the handle but I think that that has what that's what's doing in our <laughs> our cast iron 
So the ones we that we got rid of last year, we had had forever and ever and ever. So those, you know, like 20 years, they could have maybe been saved, but Bob just wasn't into it. So it is what it is. So they're gone. So we bought this one when Gander Mountain was going out of business. And I don't even remember if we used it once last year or not. But so what I did was I watched a couple videos and I today while I was on um, or not on a call, but listening to a thing doesn't matter. I took some salts to it with a potato, which is something that I saw to help kind of get off the ex the excess rust. Then I I couldn't vlog because I was on this call. Then I <laughs> took um, some vinegar and baking soda to it and that really kind of bubbled it up and helped clear it off and then I took some Crisco I melted it I melted the Crisco and then kind of brushed it all over the pan put it in the oven at 375 upside down with the sheet underneath it to catch the dripping so to speak for an hour and now it looks delightful and it's back to the way it should be so we are going to just when we store it in the camper we're gonna just uh, leave it. We're not going to, we, we just kind of had it in the plastic to protect other things, but I have a spot that I can put it in the back of one of the cupboards that will just keep it, you know, we just will be sure not to put anything in it, I guess. So, all right, long explanation as usual. What do you expect from me? I stopped by Heidi and Jamie and the girls to drop off an oil that I had ordered a replacement on guard, one for her and one for me. So I dropped that off to her. He sent back a couple of beers for Bob that um, he, or some of his favorites. This is the Oberon, I think is how I say it, Oberon Ale, American Wheat Ale. So he sent two of these. And also, she sent, oops, sorry, I just dropped the camera. Also, um, Heidi had cut up some rhubarb for me, so I'm excited to have that. I will, I'll make a rhubarb dessert for Bob and I, which is something that, I do have a video on that, I'll link it below. I will... And then I'll cut up some of it and freeze it. You need, I think, three cups or something like that. All right. Also, I had to go to Walmart today to get some gift cards to send to one of my customers. And while I was there, I picked up a couple of things. I picked up a pack of these Gladware containers. Uh, these kind of round ones and, and some of the flatter, smaller ones. To put in the camper because we just we've never kept anything in there like that and now that we have the space i'm trying to do that and i bought a couple of i bought a pop-up laundry mesh no pop-up mesh laundry bag and then like a foldable laundry bag so we'll see which one ends up working best this was like two dollars i think i'm gonna i would prefer to have this pop-up one i just don't know if, it's, if there's going to be a spot for it in the camper i'll know better once it's set up and then I bought this really very inexpensive set of pots and pans. They're very light. I have some Pampered Chef ones that I'm not using anymore, but they're so heavy and I'm just trying not to add any more weight to the camper than I have to. So this set came with just a flat one, this one and this. And for the amount of cooking that I actually do in these sort of things, that'll be fine. For the most part, I'll use the, like, I have an electric skillet that I keep in there. For the most part, I use that or we use the fire. And then also I bought these bins here. You can kind of see the size. They had four of them, I think, for $8. And I think these will fit in a couple of the different cupboards. So I'm going to go in and check that out for clothes. I, I showed you that I used those bins today, the drawer organizing bins. But I, I just feel like these might work a little bit better. And then there's two spots underneath the seats in the table, in the kitchen table there. You know what? How about I not explain? How about I show you? All right, so I'm in the camper, as you can tell. So these are the containers again, and I was right as far as this. I'm going to put the cover on it, but like for these kind of leftover containers and that sort of thing, they'll fit right under here, which is perfect. So that's good. I just have to go on the other side. Obviously, when the slide is out, I can just walk there, but I'm going to have to walk outside. I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a quick rundown of what I have in here. So, I have cups, like our coffee cups in here, some other coffee cups. I'm not sure why I have an odd number. But some wine glasses, some sort of to-go cups, and then plastic cups for cocktails. Those are some solo cups. More space there, of course. 
Then in here I have our toaster back there, bowls. Way back there is the old like percolating thing. If Bob wants to make coffee on the fire, we use that. And here are the plates. I don't, you guys kind of talked to me last year out of, I'll show you. I had, I had one of these in between all of these and really it's not necessary at all. I'm just going to stick this on the bottom and then um, just put those up there. But anyway, so plates, bowls, napkins. This is an empty container, some paper plates. This has some K-cups in it. This is hot cocoa mix that my friend Paul makes for me. And just a empty two-quart container in our tea kettle back there. These are spices, like, I'll show you. I just left these in here from last year. So some vegetable oil, which I'll have to check. I think we bought that at the very end last year, so it's probably okay. Salt and pepper, some onion salt, or onion powder, garlic powder, cinnamon, steak seasoning, vanilla, Pam. And then in here, I have our cake cups for the trip. This did have towels in it, <clears throat> but I moved those. Well, I took them out of the container and put them down in here. And then this has Ziplocs, Reynolds Wrap, garbage bags, longer utensils. And then this has our utensil utensils. Um, you know what I mean. Some measuring cups back there. Some plastic stuff. Oh, hi, Bobby. And uh, I'm just vlogging. Oh. Um, so this I don't need well, it anymore. It must be National Wash Your Vehicle Day today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I didn't do But I'll have time in the morning. I can gas up and do the wash. It. Uh, that was I was able to get the vacuum in that. That was part of his plan today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the push mower work. And then I'm going to cut the front here so I can plug the camper in. We'll be right with you. All right. So I, we just, I just wanted to find out what his plan for the rest of the day was. You didn't? Oh, okay then. No mail, apparently. So, I think that's a good use of the space underneath for the leftover containers because, I don't know, I mean, we do have some other, here, I'll show you. I'll show you what else we got. So then, in this one, we have, we just have one mixing bowl. I mean, I don't know that I need a hundred of them, so... And then these are my old Pamper Chef micro cookers because we have the new ones now. And cutting boards. This is a cutting board that Casa got me that we could use to put out like cheese and stuff if we wanna. Those are the grill tools. This is a collapsible strainer. And the reason that I bought the, that other set of pots and pans, I'll show you where I put this, is because this is really the only one we have. To do any cooking in it has a foldable handle which is all great and all but <laughs> anyway so we have these and that and then a couple of like baking sheets and then there's this drawer down here that I have just like our um, alcohol in sometimes I put water in there this is where I put those and there's nothing over there case you're curious I was these fit in here too so <clears throat> that makes me happy because there really is a lot of spaces that, that those can fit in so that's good I may go get another set of them I said to Bob I'm like you can put your clothes in these if you want to I'll just use my bag this time okay so then in here we have our electric frying pan back there and I may put these like in one of those totes so it's easier for me to get to that if I need to without having to moving all that, move all that stuff. Those are the pots that we use to heat up water in. This is a little tent thing that goes over your food. and had two of those, so she gave us one. And I just have like our s'more stuff in here, bread and buns, and, and then just kind of some snacks. These are the cones to go with the ice cream that I made, just some snacks, some cereal, you know. You know, Bob refuses to camp without Pop-Tarts, just in case. And, no, he doesn't refuse, but he prefers to have Pop-Tarts, just in case. Uh, so, that's what's going on so far in here. 
Um, I'll show you. I'll just got to give you a... Under here, That those are tubs if we want to do dishes outside. And I have a, the water filter in there for Bob for when we get up there. And then behind that is a box that has like off and citronella candles and that sort of thing. So in here I have a couple towels here. And then I have... Um, you can't see because they're brown probably, but there's a brown and a tan, a brown and a tan. And then I have my twisty turby here and a couple of washcloths. And then I'm just going to bring in my bathroom stuff from my travel. What not there is, there's a little cupboard here. And then there's one down there. So that's that. There's a little quick little tour. Just a quick little tour. I was trying to figure out the other day why I don't have this on up here. It must be that it doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm going to put something on here. What I'm, what I was looking at, sorry, is that this, I would love this to, you know, like be right here, but I need to put something on here, like a string or something so that it can hang from here. It is, there's plenty of room here. By the way, this is one of my favorite things about the camper. You have a spot to put your shoes like underneath here. Isn't that genius? So it's not like in the way of people getting in. It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things. All right. I'm going to get on with my stuff here and um, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Good afternoon. It is, <laughs> waiting for hot water. It is 12.45 Thursday. And whew, it's been a morning. I clearly did not have time to check in. So... I just did a bunch of work. I was working, really, I did get in a lot this morning. Bobby's out there watering the flowers right now and having a stogie. I am pretty much ready to go. I have all my work caught up. I have everything turned in for month end that I need to have turned in. Um, and just continuing a couple of calls. I have a few calls I'm going to make on the road as well. And that's going to be that. And I'm on vacation tomorrow. And then keep track of my emails and stuff, of course, on the way up. But, so, I did get all the food packed in the camper. I used my laundry basket to carry it to and fro, which makes sense. Bob goes, why don't you just use the blue, to the blue tote? <laughs> oh, you mean this empty tote right here? That apparently would have made way too much sense. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've had, um, the only kind of bummer to the day is that I have had a migraine, well I had it yesterday, kind of went away, and it appears to have come back, and I don't appreciate that. I'll set you in the cupboard again. I do not appreciate that, not that anybody does. I don't really get them very often, and I'm not sure, aside from possibly stress, um, that caused this one, or the other thing is, uh, yesterday when I was seasoning the cast iron pan it really smelled up the house and i wonder if that was a trigger and i hesitate to call them a migraine because i don't really know i just know that it's like goes behind this eye and it's like a stabbing sort of thing and it gets all weird around my eye when i look and makes me sick to my stomach so kind of seems like what people say migraine is but i've never been diagnosed so i shouldn't just be willy-nilly calling them migraines but so we are packed up and ready to go i'm really excited if you can't tell you know i wonder if we have any clickers i better grab some because i would not go over well if i didn't have a clicker the fire starting so yeah next time you see an update from us we will be on the road all right y'all <clears throat> we are here I didn't vlog on the way up because I was working a little bit on the way up. Um, napping people. I was, I did nap a little, well, like for five minutes and then my email would go off. And then I'd fall asleep and my email would go. It just happens in the car. So we are all set up. If you've not been to our camper, this is what it is. All, like with a slide out. So, door. This is the kind of from the corner view, and then the, so you can walk into the bedroom. Look, there's a game. <laughs> Say hello there, game. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So,
So we are all set up. It was fairly easy, huh? Oh. Fairly easy this time. I, I had a lot of the stuff already in here. I've done a lot before where I'd pack up the truck and then I'd move from the truck to here, but I felt like I did it better this time. It's a lot nicer. You know, with the pop-up, you had to back in, you had to unload everything. Load it all up, put it all up, and yeah. we should have done this a long time ago. Take everything out of the truck and bring it into the camper. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. I was waiting to see how long it was going to take. That's this. He can't stand if a clock is not set correctly. I'm the same way, but I just, you know, let him figure it out. Uh, I should set this one. Um microwave 516 clock 5 oh, oh, 0516 there we go so yeah look at this this looks like we are a bunch of alcoholics but really this was not here Ange brought me that I'll, I'll help you in a minute but I had just this little tiny bit of captain left so I brought the Kraken which is what I prefer but more expensive. Um, <laughs> he's just talking to himself. It's fine. The brandy's actually for Ange or for Bob to sip. He likes to sip a little brandy once in a while. And then there's hardly anything left in this whiskey. So that's why we have the Jack Daniels. Oh boy. I'm going to edit most of this out. Otherwise we'll get copyright. But that's all right. Um, but anyway, so we look like a bunch of alcoholics. But I swear we're not. Oh, and this is the old fashioned mix. This is the mix that Bob likes to use when we're. Well, he likes to use it all the time, actually. Meyer, if you can't read it, it says Meyer Brothers. <clears throat> he thinks it's the best old-fashioned mix of life. Aside from the real thing. True? Time is it? 5.17. All right. We are going to pack up. <laughs> I'm just laughing at you watching me vlog. Um, we are going to pack up and go have some pizza with them, and we will see you guys in a little bit. Good Sunday morning to you. Morning game. Morning. So uh, I did not vlog very much. It was not even really a vlog fail. I just was unplugged. I did really well for yep. me, for unplugging. Yep. yep. I only put a couple of things on the Instagram. And I, didn't, I only did a couple of work things on Friday when I was on vacation. But we just had a really good time with our friends. Right. Yes. yes. Do you have any wise words to share? No. No. Um, it's a beautiful day. Again, it was nice and cool. Um, I think Friday was the day, right? That it got a little warmer? Yep, Friday was warm. Yeah. And we went up into Door County. We, um, they kind of went there, did their thing. They had to make a couple stops at the library and stuff. And we went and got coffee. Went to a couple of our favorite places like Woods. And I think that was the last time we vlogged was before we left for that maybe. Or maybe I didn't vlog at all except for Thursday when we got there. <laughs> I don't remember. Do you remember? I don't remember. So, anywho, we are, um, he's, by the way, he's not crumpy. He's focusing on pulling the trailer, which you can see is behind us. Um, it gets really bumpy on certain parts of the road, by the way. We call it the bump, bump, bumps. Um, anyway, so we... Friday we did that, and then we did. We came back. Oh, I know why I didn't pull the camera on Friday because it did rain. It rained for about maybe three hours. What did you say? Yeah. Yeah, probably three hours. And we, so we knew it was coming. So when they got back, because we were back for a little bit, and I was just reading and stuff by the fire, and so I built up the fire so that it wouldn't go out while it was raining. And nobody had any faith in me except for this one. He knew my fire wouldn't go out, but they did not believe me. They were all shocked when there was still a fire afterward. But so Keith grilled up the brats and burgers quick, and then Ange actually has a crock pot in her camper. So we stuck them in the crock pot. We ate a little bit later, and then eventually the rain stopped and the fire, and we went out and set it on fire. And then yesterday, I think I've told you before, Preston, um, he is their son. He races, so. Um, his he Preston and his twin um, Grace and then Keith went back to where they live for the races. He he races a 360 sprint car, and then and actually Ange and Ella had to go to a graduation of um, Angie's nephew. And so Bob and I went and saw Aladdin, which I liked. Bob was like, eh, 
it was fine. Well, it was good. Right. I think The Rock would have made it a better lead than Will Smith. Genie. Huh? Genie. Genie. Oh, yeah, Genie. Sorry, I said the wrong one. Genie, thank you. I think he would have made a better Genie than Will Smith, personally, but it was good. And uh, then we just came back and had a fire, and it was nice and cool again last night. They had a sock hop going at the play at that. We were at Harper Village in um, Door County. And so we walked, you know, Angie and Ella and I walked up there at one point. It wasn't very exciting, so we, so we came back. But we, yeah, we just did that. And then I think the guys and Grace came home or came back about 11. But we were long, I was long asleep. He was still awake. But it was a nice, relaxing weekend. And I told them for the first time in a long time, I could have stayed a few more days. Usually I'm ready to pack up. We were talking about that today with Aunt Ann. She came over every morning because she wakes up before her family does. So she came over every morning and had coffee with us. And I was talking to, I said, you know, normally by Saturday night, I am like packing up in, in the pop-up camper. I would be packing everything up. I'm ready to go. Like Sunday morning, we get up, we go. I'm just I'm ready to go. And this time I was not ready to go. I could have stayed a few more days. So we think maybe when we come back in the fall, uh, we might add a few more days either be, be the beginning or the end, depending on what the week looks like. Right. right. So, anywho, we are now headed back and um, empty the camper, get some laundry started. I need to go spend some time with Wilson. And then I got to get myself packed because I fly out tomorrow. My flight's at 1 or something like that, 12.50, something like that. Just a quick out and back in. I land really late on Tuesday night. So, that's what I got for you. That's a little update. Apologize, I didn't vlog more. And let me show you how pretty it, the day is. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Random thing on my window here. Beautiful day in Wisconsin. We'll check in with you guys later. Good morning, everybody. It's um, 10 o'clock Monday morning. I'm clearly up. I have been working. I am dressed. I am packed. I just have to pack my CPAP and out to the airport. So. I shot, I, would, I, I shot, I shot, <coughs> I thought I would show you guys my outfit of the day, and then I have to go outside and show you guys the, something outside, but, um, so these are the Not Your Daughter's Jeans, um, these are the cuffed, like, split hem, is that what that's called? I don't know, um, I showed the, if you watch my beauty channel, you've seen all of this before, but anyway, this is that jacket, I love this jacket. Um, I'm in love with this jacket. I'll link it below because the last time I linked it below, it was on sale. I don't know if it still is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna link it anyway. Um, <clears throat> I want to take you outside and show you something that I'm really excited about. Here. It's very walking through my house. It's so nice out. What is the temperature? 61. I wish I'd gotten for a walk this morning. But look at you guys. Do you see this? Now, if you're an old-time gamer, <laughs> you know how much I love lilacs and how sad I was to leave my big lilac bushes at our other house. But look at, I mean, they're not huge, but there's lilacs on them. Very excited. The other thing I wanted to show you out here is the, my irises are coming up. Those are pretty. And then, I'll walk around the side of the house here. Everything is everything is coming up except for the bush that the Bob goes. I think it's coming up. I'm like I think those are uh, weeds, but he's convinced that that is the bush coming back. It's not. I don't think so. I mean, it could be. Everything else though seems to be doing well. And I have to show you <coughs> the irises in front. They're like little baby irises. <laughs> I don't know. Um, see, here, look, sorry. A lot of you want to see this, which is why I'm, why I am showing you. This is all the stuff that we planted last year. But, my creeping flocks are doing well. Those are my favorite thing of life right there. After lilacs. But look at how cute and baby these are. I mean, are you kidding me? They're such cute, tiny little things. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't grow tall before they had things, but anyway, I don't know much about that kind of stuff. My flowers here are just starting to do better. They had a little bit of a rough weekend because we were gone. 
and I forgot to ask Heidi to come chuck some water on him. Well, kind of forgot, kind of didn't want to bother her, let's be real. Um, I just... iris by the time I get back probably well it is an iris it's not gonna suddenly become an iris overnight I meant there will be flowers probably when I get back so I'm just gonna finish packing up get my stuff in the car finish a few things for work and then head off to the airport I don't leave I don't like we board till like 12 15 or something so I have some time uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share those few things with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I have a feeling there isn't a ton of footage here, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and hopefully get this up in the next couple days here. Probably not until I get back, so I don't plan on bringing that laptop with me today. So, on that note, I hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.